All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenza Show. So what I'm going to call this podcast is why are you trying to build a relationship with someone you don't know? And if you know anything about me, I try to help men master their self-confidence along with trying to help them find the woman or women of their dreams, even if they've been through a bad breakup or divorce. And a lot of what I teach is, for a lot of men, is learning how to build friendships with women first not go into relationships or look at it from a real, uh, real, I'm saying real estate, real ship perspective, relationship perspective. Sorry about that. That's what happens when you hang out with a bunch of buddies who are realtors. All they do is talk real estate to you. But, uh, in this case, you know, I, I don't want to kind of, I talk a lot about it on my podcast, learning to meet other women and just becoming friends with them, really throwing them in the friend zone, kind of like what they're doing with you a lot of times and figuring out if you think this person is right for you to start maybe seeing more often going on dates maybe, or just meeting up once in a while with your friends or going out and just hanging out, starting from that mindset. But what I do see with a lot of men and women is trying to quickly start building a relationship like kind of almost quickly too quickly in my eyes especially having sex way too early in the game in my opinion a lot of times I am all about taking as much time as you need when it comes to having sex it's it's actually the last thing on my mind when it came to meeting women and I think for most men it's the most thing on their mind which is actually I think a very uh, bad way to go about it because I think a lot of mistakes are made by thinking that way or going that route. Same with women uh, because sex, for the most part, in the long term is going to be probably the thing you do the least. So whoever you end up with, what's going to be most important in my eyes is the relationship as far as respecting one another, listening to one another, doing things with one another, growing with one another, all those type of things because, you know, I don't care how much, even if you're a sex addict or you have a lot of sex, uh, most of the day is not going to be spent doing that. So we really have to find the person that, you know, we want to be in a relationship to be very interesting. And again, somebody I believe that we can grow with, right? That's what's most important. And I think, again, going back to the point where you like a lot of people go on two, three dates that I know and they're like, yeah, I'm in a relationship. I'm like, oh, okay. And I think, I don't know if it's insecurity or if they've been programmed, especially like you hear stupid things like on the third date, you got to have sex. I've discussed that. I don't even know where these numbers come from or what all this stupid shit. But even if you dated somebody and then like you went on three dates and all of a sudden because you fooled around and you put on social media, you're in a relationship or you very quickly bring them around your parents or you introduce them to your friends that I'm in this relationship do you really truly know this person? I'd say most likely you don't. <laughs> I'm just telling you right now. Would you, if you met a, it's not like I should say, it's not like meeting a buddy or a friend, men or women, you meet a, you know, would you say like, um, you know, you met somebody and you had a drink, you met him at a bar and you met him and then you had lunch with him and then you might have uh, run into him at the gym or worked out with him all of a sudden. Are they almost like, I get they're a friend, but are they a close friend? I mean, when you say a relationship, that's kind of like, that's one of the most, it's close. It's, it's something that you're saying, yeah, I'm, you know, really invested in this person. Would you say that about anyone else? You'd be like, no, that's kind of a dude or a female. I've met a few times up. I don't know a lot about them. Uh, and I get a really, you know, men and women are different than men and men or women and women or whatever. A friendship is different than starting a relationship. I understand all that. But what I'm really trying to tell you is you have to really take a realistic approach that you do not know this person. I don't care how much you stalk them on social media. I don't care if you got introduced from somebody else, a close friend that said this person's the best there for you. And I don't care how much you have in common. Again, you don't know this person, in my opinion, enough to say I'm in a relationship with them or attaching yourself to this person, especially publicly. Again, that's my opinion. You know, I'm just stating the obvious. I think everybody has to slow the hell down when it comes to dating, especially. A lot of times I talk about, and a lot of people are like, oh, Rich, that's so stupid. And a, a date is where, you know what I mean? If you're too cheap to take a girl out on a date when you first meet them, I, first of all, even if I do go to dinner with them, say it's, I don't even consider it a date. I just consider I'm sitting across, you know, just 
It's not even a friend at that point in time. I'd hate to say it. If I just met a girl, I'm not even saying we're friends. I don't even know her. How would I all of a sudden go on a date? Like I get we're going on a date, but then the second one now I'm dating. Like a lot of people talk that, oh, you're going on a set. Oh, you're dating. But I don't get, what does that mean? I'm in, kind of in a relationship. Oh, we're, we're dating. So that means, no, I don't even know this person for the most part. Just because I go out one time with somebody or, or I spend time with them. You know, in a, few, in a month or a couple months or even a few months, I still a lot of times don't know who this person truly is. Take as much time as possible. Now, I'm not telling you to wait years or anything like that, but definitely spend time with the person in a lot of different situations to see if you truly are for one another. Because I, I talk about this a lot in my Master in Self-Confidence program. Uh, just because you go to dinner and you hit it off and it's all fun and, you know, it's the honeymoon phase. You know, you go to restaurants, you and, you know, you're eating steak, lobster, you're going and having a nice dinner, and then you, maybe you go to the movies, and then you, the next time you meet up, yeah, we're at another restaurant, we're laughing, or we're going to drinks, or we may meet up with friends. Yeah, that's all fun shit. That's fun, but that's not the environments for the most part we live in. That's quite the opposite. You want to start seeing what they do outside of those environments. Yeah, fun times when everybody's eating and drinking in those environments, but that's not going to be your environment most likely all the time. Again, it's going to be in different environments, uh, especially if you start dating and you want to see how they behave or act in those environments. Are they who they say they are? Are they manipulating you? Are they lying you know, to you? And again, a lot of people take for granted. They think because they're looking at social media that this is who they're, you know what I mean? That's who that person is. A lot of times it isn't. I'm here to tell you. So you definitely want to protect yourself. So again, uh, I am going to wrap it up with, you know, you have to take your time, men and women. And listen, even if you do start dating and you're not fooling around yet and someone's like, wait, what's the problem here? Be open and say, listen, I don't know if I trust you enough to fool around with you yet. I dig you. You're cool. You know, we get along. Let's see how this goes. Because once you have sex, I talk about it all the time and everything entirely changes. It changes immediately. The whole relationship or friendship, whatever the hell you want to call it, uh, either one changes on a dime. So before you jump into that lake, you know what I mean? Because you don't know how they're going to behave after that. Make sure you're making the right move and it's the right time to do that. All right. Because a lot of mistakes happen, a lot more than people talk about. Uh, and a lot of feelings may get hurt because a lot of times after fooling around with someone too, don't think it's always going to be better necessarily a lot of times both ways one may be better than the other or one doesn't like what happened or one loved it or you both may like it all these different types of things so again even if things don't work out after you fool around i am going to wrap it up officially with this take an honest approach that doesn't mean you have to ghost somebody or dump them maybe you know a lot of times again by taking your time maybe ending up fooling around with this person in time that doesn't automatically, again, make you in a relationship. But I think once a lot of people do have sex, all of a sudden they think, oh, I'm in this relationship because we had sex. The truth is, a lot of times it may not be what you think it is to the other person. And that's where I think a lot of people get hurt because the other person or somebody else may be fooling around with someone else. They may not be as serious as you are or they may not be interested in being in a long-term relationship. All these things. So be aware of these things. All right, that's just my perception and my opinion. Got any more questions or comments, hit me up. Uh, MasteringSelfConfidence.com is my website. RichChalenza.com also is my website. So you can hit me up anytime. And uh, that's all I got for you. Take care.